Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a video in so long. Oh my god. But here I am. I, okay, I can't even remember what the last fucking video I posted was. Holy crap. I think it was me putting extensions in my hair. I don't even have those extensions in my hair anymore. <clears throat> I took them out. But yeah, um, I feel like I haven't sat down and like filmed a get ready with me in so long. So this is going to be just like a get ready with me life update because I want to fill you all in on my fucking life because... <laughs> It's not too much to explain, but I'm just going to let you guys know where I've been, and yeah. I think in this video I'm going to try to recreate the makeup that Kylie Jenner had at, I believe it was Courtney's wedding. I think that- <sighs> the bug. I think it was her makeup at Courtney's wedding. I don't know, it's really beautiful, and I want to do it. It doesn't look too hard, but it also doesn't look too easy. <laughs> so... This should be fun. I got my nails. I just pressed these bitches on because I had no nails. Because I was somewhere where I couldn't get my nails on. I'll let you know when I get started. But, um, yeah. Before we get started with this video, I want to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video. So cut to the fucking clip. Hello. The sponsor of today's video is NERX. Thank you, NERX, for sponsoring this video. So, a lot of y'all know that I struggle with acne and I have for a really long time. Like, I've been struggling with acne since I was, like... Probably 14 is when I first started breaking out. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about NERX. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I've tried every single over-the-counter product that I can get for my acne. I feel like it's better to get products from a medical provider. Like, in past experience, I just have always known that that is better. But NERX makes it so freaking easy to be able to get that. So on NERX, you share your acne history and then you share a few photos with them and then a medical, like a licensed medical professional will evaluate your skin and prescribe you medication. Whether it's a topical that you put on top of your skin or um, like pills. Once they evaluate you and prescribe you the medication, you can either go pick it up um, at your nearest pharmacy, so like CVS or like whatever places have a pharmacy, or you can get it literally shipped to your doorstep. So Nurse's team will check up on you after like you have been using the medication for a while and see how it's going and see if they need to change anything or add anything or whatever. They'll check up on you. If you have any questions like in the whole process of everything, you can always message them and um, get your questions answered. So my experience using Nurse's website was great. I literally had the evaluation with the medical professional. Like I told them everything about my skin, like how my skin is, this and that, like what type of acne I have, sent them photos. They respond pretty quick and they end up prescribing you. And like I said, I went and picked it up at CVS. I'm gonna show you all how I apply the topical that I have. But before that, I have my little medication that I take. Um, I'm supposed to take one in the morning and one at night. I already took the pill this morning and now I'm gonna take the one right now before I go to sleep. The medication is called, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Spironolactitone. Yup. <laughs> okay, I just washed my face and then put eye cream on and I'm going to put on the Trentinoin cream, but I just use like a little pea size amount. And when you use this product, make sure to use sunscreen. Okay? I try to avoid my under eye area too because I don't want to dry it out. And they cover most insurance plans, which is great because what the heck but their out-of-pocket fees are also pretty affordable as well and NERX also helps with other skin needs like rosacea or anti-aging they do all of that join the 1 million plus people that have been using NERX for their healthcare needs you deserve to have beautiful skin and be confident in your skin click the link in my description and go to NERX.com right now thank you NERX for sponsoring this video love y'all um go get clear skin back to scheduled programming hey y'all I'm back I was there too, but here I am. Bro, there's a fucking little fly in my room and I want to snatch it so bad. It looks like I have hairs just like... <laughs> the hair sticking out of my head. It's in like one of these, but... Just don't mind it. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to like really explain what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of do it. But it's just really going to be like a get ready with me. Am I going anywhere? No. <laughs> I'm not, but I'll link every product that I'm using down below. 
but I am gonna do my eyes first because I just feel like that's easier. But any let's take ugh, let's take a guess on where I've been. Ready? Go. Guess. Okay. Comment. Pause the video and 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 comment down below where you think I've been. It tried to make me go to rehab, but I said no, no, no. <laughs> I said yes. I I went to rehab. It's not funny. I got better though. I'm doing good. Um, a bitch was not doing good. I feel like I hide myself really well when I am doing pretty bad in life. Um, so yeah, but I feel like I've had problems since I was honestly just like a little gal a whole life. Literally since I was like 14. Um, I bet some of you guys assumed the mental institution because I'm like always there. But I was not at the mental institution. I was in rehab, but... I needed to go like it was just time to get my life together um it, it was needed I needed to go okay and I'm happy that I went I met a lot of amazing people um where I went was like what the fuck is that on my head wait I need a mirror hold on I ain't got the sign and my daddy thinks I'm fine my dad does not think I'm fine he was actually one of the people trying to convince me to go to rehab so what was I just talking about besides that? Hmm. I feel like I've struggled with substance abuse since I was a little gal. Um, since I first tried it, anything. So it's like, kind of just the way that I would cope with anything is substance abuse. And like, alcohol. I needed to get help. I needed to go learn how to take care of myself. And cope with the things that happened to me without doing that it was just like a really good experience <laughs> i know that some people are like bitch what the fuck and some rehabs are like the absolute worst where i went was really nice everyone there was nice thank god for fucking insurance my dad retires next year so this was like the perfect time to take advantage of the fact that i have insurance because shit what if i didn't feel like like what if i just wanted to be a crazy bitch for one more year and then i ended up trying to go to rehab and um i had to pay for it it's fucking expensive without insurance. It was a good experience. I met a lot of good people. I learned a lot of good things. I'm just really happy that I went. If you ordered a sweatshirt from my website and you're like, Corey, why the fuck has it not shipped? Like it's been over a month. It's because I was in rehab. Um, I was not able, I was like trying to get it done before I left, but I just couldn't. Like I kind of just went, it wasn't out of nowhere. It was very fast how it all happened. So. I just, I, w I didn't have time to do it and I felt really bad and I wanted my sister to um, email everybody that bought a sweatshirt off my website and um, tell you guys to get a refund or you could wait a couple weeks and I'll, I would send them out, but she didn't do that, she forgot. I know some people might be upset with me and I'm really sorry and if you want a refund, just message my email right now, it's corvonaldswork at gmail.com and I can give you a refund on your order, but if you want to wait for it and you still want it, um, it's going to come to you as soon as possible. Like, I'm working on it. So, um, I'm sorry about the delay. I just had to get healthy. Yeah, so if you're wondering where the fuck I've been, that's where I was. I was, like, debating on, like, sharing that with everybody because it is kind of, like, a touchy subject for me. I don't really talk openly about that, but just know I needed it, okay? I'm not gonna go too into detail with the things I was doing or or what but I needed help and I got it yeah it's fun and all but it's not fun forever like to drink and use <sighs> I don't know I just had to learn that I wasn't like other people I'm not like I can't drink like other people I can't use anything like other people do and then like move on with their life like I have an issue and I've always had an issue I have I have um, an addictive personality thanks to my parents and then my grandparents and all the people in my past that are fucking drug addicts or alcoholics. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Um, but you know, I am my own person. They didn't force me to do any of those things, but they did give me those genetics, so a bitch is a little fucked up. And I can't drink or use like normal people because bad things will happen and I won't stop until something horrible happens and even when horrible things happen i don't stop so yeah i'm just like taking an accountability and finally admitting to myself that i do have issues with that and it's not the right way to cope so good for me i'm only 22 so hopefully i can keep going strong 
um, I believe right now I'm 20 something days sober. I don't know. Um, let me be vulnerable with you guys too. I would go through like periods of time when I wouldn't do certain things. I would always still drink. I, um, I've never been like completely sober in my whole life. I don't like, well, obviously when I was a fucking baby, I wasn't fucking doing shit. But <laughs> Since I was like probably 16, I like, I haven't had a period of sober time where I'm sober from everything. So, um, I'm just, I'm proud of myself and I'm proud that I finally got help. And if you struggle with substance abuse issues or alcohol, just know I'm with you and you're not alone. Um, I'm a crazy bitch too, okay? Um, and it's like not fun anymore for me. Like it just ruins my life and it makes me more depressed. Because I'm already depressed and anxious as, like, a normal being. Add all these depressants into it, and I'm just... It's bad. It's really bad. If I can, like, avoid being less depressed or bad things happening from just, like, stopping what I do, what I was doing, then I want to do it. Because I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be depressed more than I need to be. This is kind of getting deep. Sorry if this isn't funny for you guys, but I'm just being honest and vulnerable. I feel like for the longest time I would just like not admit to myself. I'd just be like, oh, I'm just a teenager. Like when I was a teenager, this is normal. Or I'm, oh, I'm 20. I'm in my early 20s. Oh, I'm 21. Like it's normal to do these things. But it was never normal the way that I would, um, the way that I was, you know? So... I guess I was just in denial and I finally admitted to myself that I can't do that. If you struggle with that shit, you're not alone and I love ya. And if you ever want to talk about things, you can DM me and I would love to talk to you about that. You can trust me and I don't judge anyone. Like, I'm the last person to judge anyone. Anyone, okay? Just know that. I, <laughs> bitch, I have no room to judge anyone. Are you kidding me? So, if you ever want to talk about anything like that or just anything we're all friends here you can you can message me on instagram and talk to me if you need to love ya also i usually get spray tan but since i was in rehab for so long i'm like my complete natural color right now and i'm so pale and i also didn't have nails the whole time I was, okay i went in there with a full set and then they all ended up coming off because i was there for so long um and I just put these press-ons on and I honestly feel like they're kind of ugly, but that's fine. It's better than having little nubs. <laughs> oh, I didn't quit smoking my vape though. Sorry, one thing at a time, okay? Well, I stopped a lot of things at a time, but this bitch, I'll eventually quit her, okay? Eventually, but now is not the time for me. Give me about a year and I'll, I'll get rid of this hoe, okay? Everybody in my family that used to have addiction issues or alcohol issues or whatever in any way, they're all clean now. Like, my immediate family, like, they're all in recovery. So, it's just, like, I feel like I was, like, the odd duck out. The, the odd, what is it called? The ugly duck? Like, no. Odd duck out. I don't know what it's called. I was just not doing what I was supposed to. You know what I mean? And I was like, everyone's doing better. Corey, get yourself fucking together. You know what I mean? So... I just felt like I had to and like my dad's 13 years sober from alcohol one year sober from um other things and I just want to I want to make my family proud my other sister just hit one year um and everyone is just doing really good and I felt like I needed to do that like not only um for myself but just to make my family proud you know what I mean on to less serious shit cuz we don't need to talk about this for the whole damn video. I haven't even finished my eyebrows yet. But I wanted to be honest with you guys. Um, there's some other things that I like want to be honest about too. but And and let you guys in on my life. But I feel like it's like a touchy subject for me. I will tell you guys eventually. Because you guys are my besties. And I trust you guys. And I love you guys. But it's a vulnerable subject for me. I am think I'm going to wait on that one a little bit. Ew. All right, I just thought I would do one eye off a of camera and I think I did it like way too dark. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, it's still pretty, but does it look like Kylie's? Not really, but that's okay. Um, I also have like no eyelash glue and it like dried out. And I was literally trying so hard to get it out of here and then just chunks came out. So if this falls off, 
I'm gonna be pissed, but it probably will. Okay, my friend Michelle, love you so much, girl. Best see if you're watching this, I love you. She got this in like a subscription box, but it's like Patrick Star's makeup brand, one size. I've never tried anything from them, like from that brand, but I've also heard a lot of good things about it, but I tried this palette, and tell me why it works so fucking good. I feel like I trust influencers, makeup brands more than like actual celebrities. If they got famous off of doing makeup, I, I like I always know that their brand is gonna be good. They know about it But like sometimes when celebrities come out with makeup brands, they get their makeup done by makeup artists all the time So it's like hard to like believe if like it's gonna be good or not. Kylie and Kim's makeup, you know Patrick Star, his makeup is bomb and this was good as fuck. It blended so good I really want to try the mess the rest of their makeup they have. I want to try the freaking um, Setting spray from one size because I've heard it's like the best setting spray ever so I want to get it. And if my scalp looks red, it's because it got sunburnt. What the fuck? But yeah, I felt like this had all the shades that I needed. I used this one, this one, this one, and this one. And it was good. Okay, I'm going to show you what I did. So I started out and I used this one, Taupe of My Game. Whatever that means. And then I did this. I put some here slightly bringing it this way and then also on the outside right here and then i like winged it out when i was in rehab i like set out a bunch of goals for myself that i wanted to do and i typically post every single friday but we all know we all know that i miss a lot of the fridays but one of my goals was that i would do a whole year without missing one friday so I need to start planning ahead so I can post and be able to like give you guys content every week because I really want to do that. So comment down below what you guys want to see from me. It can literally be anything. Anything. I need to go turn the fucking air back on because it's hot and my under my boobs is sweating. Hold on. Oh my god, it's already on. It's just hot as fuck in here. You see how I'm kind of leaving that little space right there? The trash truck is loud. And then I went in with like a tinier brush. And I go in with brownie. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Are you kidding me right now? Put it like below that. You would think I would have so many things to talk about. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. Like you would think that since I've been gone for so long, I have so many things like to update you guys with. All I've really been doing is fucking being in rehab <laughs> yeah comment down below if you've ever gone to rehab i would love to know well unless you don't want to post that on like the public internet um because <laughs> you don't want people knowing your business me on the other hand i'll just say anything but um message me i want to know like what are your experiences do you see what we're doing here yeah i, I can't really remember what i did it was kind of a long time ago <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with this Sigma Wicked Light Gel Liner, and I'm going to do a nice, tiny little wing. Fuck. Actually, before I do the black liner, I'm going into the shade Manila Sands and putting this on the inner like part of my eye with a flat brush. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the second brush that I use. Blend this a little bit. Uh. Mm. Excuse me and blended. Ta-da! Maybe a little more. Wait, hold on. Hold the front door. Where's that brush? Oh. Okay, that looks pretty good for now. I need to go see if my car is getting towed. I have a fear of that. Nope, she's perfectly sitting out there. Whenever I hear loud noises outside, I think my car is getting towed. Okay, now we're going to go in with eyeliner. I'm going to go off camera and do this real quick so I can focus, but it's just a tiny little wing. I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Bye. You see, it doesn't need to be perfect either. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're just going to buff it out. You see? There's a black shade in here called Turban Legend. Oh, I get it. Because Patrick Star. Okay. Um, and I'm taking like this little tiny detail brush and I'm going to put it over this. Why am I breathing so hard? And then put more of this 
blend it upwards like this. But now I'm gonna go in with a brush like this and start blending with nothing excess on my brush. It's not gonna be blended like too crazy up, you know? I'm so fucking bad at explaining things. It's not gonna be blended too crazy yet. <laughs> but I feel like you know what I mean, okay? And now I'm gonna go back with a little bit more black and just make sure that this is as dark as I want it. And then what I like to do is at the end, go in with the bone shade with a fluffy brush and just put it over pretty much everything because it'll lighten it and blend all the... Th okay. Pretty much done. And now I'm gonna fucking... I don't have any makeup wipes, so I'm literally using an old one and wetting it with my mouth. Okay, Gorge. Let's put on my eyelash. These are from Izzy Beauty. Um, they're the number 17. I'm going to try to squeeze glue out of this, but it probably won't work. And I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to use this mascara. I got some. This like inner corner situation is gonna look better when I finish with the rest of my face. I just can't wait to put foundation on because whenever I have just eyeshadow on, I feel not cute. I wanna get my eyebrow pierced, but I'm just scared because when I don't have makeup on, one, I don't have eyebrows, so it would just be like kind of on my skin. <laughs> and I'm scared it's not gonna heal right because I always wear makeup. And this is the main problem I have. I'm scared that I'm gonna look like trash, like trailer trash, not like cute trashy. Like, you know how there's like cute trashy and then there's like, do you know what I mean? And then there's like trailer trash. And my white ass could easily like, like when my hair is not brushed and like I just have like an eyebrow piercing in and no makeup, I feel like I could easily look like trailer trash. And I'm allowed to say trailer trash, okay? I'm a white person. So, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Anyone can fucking say trailer trash. I don't give a sh I don't give a shit, okay? But like I want one so bad and I know it looks so cute when I have makeup on, but I feel like when I'm not wearing makeup, I'm going to look ugly. So, maybe I'll just get it and see how it looks. Try it out for a week <laughs> cuz it won't leave a hole if it's just a week. Um and then if I like it, I'll keep it if I don't damn but i want to get more piercings they took out my industrial when i had an mri oh i know people are gonna ask about my fucking brain situation my tumors the tumor that's on my right frontal lobe um nothing to worry about unless it gets bigger and then i have one on my nasal cavity um which always makes me sick so i need to go to a um what is it called an eyes no no no, no. throat nose and mouth doctor or something like that to get it checked out and we're, we're still figuring that out and now my seizure um I am going to go to um, a, a doctor's appointment coming up soon to get an EEG so they can like scan my brain. I don't even really know what an EEG is. I just know I have to sleep. Um, so we're going to figure out if I'm prone to seizures. But that's the only update I have for you guys. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I never thought that I was going to die, so it's okay. But brain tumors are scary. Sometimes there's boogers on my, my nose ring, so it hurts to pull it out. Guys, I think I need to have my nose ring in forever because when it's not in, there's a ginormous hole. And it won't close because I've had it for so fucking long. But I mean, I feel like I'm going to keep all the piercings I have until I'm an old fucking lady. So I don't really have nothing to worry about. Uh. Getting a pimple on the top of my lip and I'm not happy about that. Lip pimples literally hurt the most. Don't y'all agree? Fuck limp pimples. Limp pimples? Fuck limp pimples. It looks like I have a lot more acne than I actually do right now because it's from scarring. The only active pimples on my face right now are this one on my lip and this two little two little ones right there. I'm gonna let this dry for a second so I can have more coverage. One second. I need to turn my fan on because I keep thinking that my fucking air's off, but it's just extra hot in this bitch. Can you guys hear that? Is it annoying? Here, I can zoom out now. Oop, that's in. These pimples are not going to get covered and that's going to annoy me. What shit? Uh, dude, honestly, I feel like this might be a good shade for me. I really love using this foundation brush to apply my foundation. It's the, the Sigma F80 brush. 
but I feel like it's kind of dirty right now so this might not do what I want it to do so okay I don't like how this foundation looks I thought that I liked this foundation but I don't think that I do ew we're gonna go in with some of the Maybelline 30 hour over the top of this and try to make it look prettier because oh it's a little darker though well I'm gonna finish up like putting my creams down and then set it and I'll come back and do my bronzer and blush and highlight and then finish the bottom of my eyes with y'all okay okay I did this eye off of the bottom of it off of camera and um I set my face and I put on cream contour concealer and liquid blush and then I set my face okay I usually fucking hate doing the inner corner like that but I feel like it looks really pretty I feel like I did it in a way that like compliments my eye instead of like makes it look weird <gasps> no fucking way this just died <gasps> no this is not good I'm gonna cry dude oh no Oi, noi. Okay, well, let's just finish this and then I'll go get another one. The fuck? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going in with the same liquid eyeliner that I used um, on my as a wing, and I'm just gonna take it on the same brush and then put it in my waterline on the bottom and on the top. I don't know what little things are in this. Like, what are those imprints? Are they faces? I don't know. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna make sure not to buff this down i really have a feeling that my camera is gonna die i need you guys to start bugging the shit out of me and tell me cory buy another fucking battery literally start bugging me please because i have that thought to get another battery in the back of my brain at all times and i just never do it but i need to do it because if i just had another battery i could just have both of them charged and when one dies i could just stick it back in because my camera's fucking annoying and it does i can't plug it in while it's filming because like the charge the the battery i have to like take it out of the camera and like plug it into the wall does that make sense anyways i'm gonna take the taupe shade on this brush and then just slightly buff out the black underneath my eye whoops <laughs> i'm gonna take the same little black liner that I used with everything else and make a little wing. I am gonna hold my breath and hope for the best. I don't like doing that. Oh my god, it's uneven already, I think. Oh shit. I really... Ugh. I don't like doing this part. Oh my god, are they even? I think one's going down and one's going up. I think that's what's going on. Gosh freaking darn it. Oh no, I need to fix this because this one looks good and this one looks bad. Oh my god, I'm fucking it up. I swear it's the pet pressure of being on camera because I had no problem doing that when I was by myself. Well, I am, I am by myself, but you know what I mean. You fit me better than my favorite sweater and I know love is me. Oh, love hurts. Bro, I'm about to give up. This is hard. Maybe I'll just fuck this one up. Fuck. Well, that's as easy even as they're gonna get, okay? Okay. Let's ignore how red my body is and how yellow my face is. I love that. Okay, bitch. I need to I need to I need to stop. Okay. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Good enough. Corey, you got it. Okay. Bottom mascara. Damn, I need a bait. Wet and Wild just came not Wet and Wild. Physicians Formula just came out with this little palette. And it's called Butter Dream Team. And it has the butter bronzer in it, but also like a matte bronzer down here. And a highlighter. And blush. Oh, and I also put lip plumper on. Get my lips ready for when I put on. Okay, this eye looks great. And then this eye looks fucked up. Maybe my eyes are different shapes and I don't know it maybe oh my god watch bitch fuck this okay i'm gonna i'm gonna use the la liner retract la girl retractable 
the LA Girl Retractable Lip Liner in Nonstop Nude and MAC Honey Love on my lips. And then I'm going to come back um, with my hair and everything finished. Um, I'm pretty much done for the most part, okay? I'll come back when my camera's charged a little bit because it's literally about to die on me, okay? Love you, bye. I'm finished. I put my extensions in um, and put on a cute shirt. Okay, I don't know if it looks cuter with it like that or like, because it usually has the straps right here, but whatever honestly it looks nothing like kylie's kind of but not really but i still think it's cute i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i don't know if it was entertaining or not i'm gonna have to watch it back and see i'm not very sure but it is a life update and i feel like those tend to be boring but um i'll try to be more entertaining next week <laughs> it's also my first video video it's also my first video back so give me a break okay I kind of forgot how to do makeup and how to be a YouTuber, but that's okay. I just need to get back into the swing of things. But yes, oh my god guys, look at this chip. I got a chip from graduating rehab. <laughs> Anyways, I love y'all so freaking much. Be good to your freaking brain or I'll beat you up, but you already knew that. Oh, it feels good to say that again. I, okay, it's only been three weeks since I posted. Maybe a month, but okay, I just, that's, that's probably the longest I've gone since I started posting every Friday, okay? But I'm back and I'm better. Okay. I love y'all so freaking much. Be good to your goddamn brain. Love ya. Have a great day.